Okay, I'm going to show how to do this, uh, edit a generic wall uh, by adding an exterior finish and then further to take that exterior finish so it goes down past the, to the bottom of the floor structure and hides the seam uh, between wall and floor just like real construction would be. So to start, turn off the line weight so we can see what's happening. So right now you can see that there will be a seam between floor and wall. I'm going to highlight that wall and I'm going to edit this wall. And just to be quick, I'm going to leave it as a generic 6, but I'm going to, because I'm making changes to it, I don't want to edit the original. I'm going to say duplicate and um, it'll come up with an automatic, uh, typically it numbers it 2, 3, 4, etc. Or you can rename the whole thing. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as generic 2 for this instance because I'm just demonstrating. But the key is I give it a unique name. Oh, already in, in use, so sorry. Generic 3, 6 inch 3, I'll use that one. Uh, it's okay to that. And now I'm going to edit it. Now you'll see I have the preview box open. Um, when I go to edit this, it shows what the wall is made up of. And I'm going to open up the preview box so we can see it. And notice we can look at it, see how it looks in plan or in section. Okay. So now uh, I need to add to this uh, an element to this 6 inch wall. So I'm pick insert. The new element comes in. It's not defined. It's got zero thickness. Um, and because it's a finished material, I'm going to move it up to the exterior side. See exterior is written on the top here. So I'll move it up. It's outside the core boundary. All finishes should be outside the core boundary. For example, if you were to add gypsum board as an interior finish, it would go num down here as number 5 below the cow core boundary. So back to our finish, I'm going to give it a material. Uh, I couldn't find stucco in here, but I did find one called exterior insulation and finish system. Um, I'm going to use that and say OK. And I'm going to give it a thickness of 1 inch just to represent a finished material and it's thick enough that I can grab it and edit it. Okay, so I've got an exterior finish and I've got an interior uh, structure that's 6 inches and the exterior finish is outside the core boundary. So that's it and if we look, if we zoom in on this, you can see we've added that. If I highlight the structure, that shows the structure. If I highlight the exterior finish, it gets highlighted. Now, it doesn't matter which, are, which thing is highlighted here, but if we go now and read down here it says modify vertical structure where we we want to be able to modify the structure in section so I have to go to section preview to see this okay on plan it's not editable so I'm back to section zoom in oops and now I'm going to choose modify by picking modify it's going to allow me to uh, unlock certain parts of the building and it's right here if you if I zoom in you can see that I'm highlighting the base of the exterior finish and right now it's locked I'm going to unlock it so that means it's not locked in line with the base of this wall it means it can move independently it's as simple as that this one is still locked I'll leave it alone but this one is unlocked and I'm done say okay to that and as I say OK to this, it's going to replace my wall that I had highlighted with this new edited wall, which you'll see. It's just working. There it is. So we replaced a generic 6 wall with this generic 6 number 3 wall. And you can see when I highlight it, look, click and highlight it, it's got two separate moving upward uh, and downward arrows for the exterior finish. So I can click and drag this exterior finish down. But rather than eyeball it, I'm going to show you how to do the. Let me just undo that one command. I'm going to show you how to do it with the align command. Under the modify tab is the align command. Now I've already right clicked and added it to my quick access bar. Choose it in either place. When you choose a line, you read the prompt. Down at the bottom it says, please select line or point reference for alignment. So I want this to line up with the bottom of my floor. So the first choice is what you want to line it to. So I can use my tab key to flip through different choices, but I see that I've got the bottom of the wall highlighted, so click. Now it asks, please select an entity to align. 
it will move into alignment with the reference. So the second point I want to choose is not the thickness, uh, uh, the base wall, but it is the exterior finish. So you can see I've got that highlighted. I click on that, and it automatically jumps down, lines up, and asks, "Do you want to lock this with the floor?" And I'm going to say yes. I would like that if this floor ever changed in thickness, that this exterior finish would follow it. And it's just a process that once we create that wall system, we're going to have to go around the building in every view and we're going to have to set up those alignments. And you can see it's already done on this side.